What is up guys, welcome back to Tech Intern. So today we're gonna to be talking about computer science at Waterloo. We're gonna talk about is it worth it, we're gonna go through all the factors, warts and all, it's not all fantastic, and we're gonna discuss everything. So just a list of a few things we, we're gonna go through. We're gonna talk about co-op versus non-co-op. We're gonna talk a lot about the disadvantages of Waterloo and computer science. We're gonna talk about my journey, having been a computer science major at Waterloo, that eventually led me to my job at Microsoft, where I'm a software engineer. You can see in the background is the Space Needle and the Seattle skyline, which there's not much of a skyline, but we're gonna talk a little bit about CS versus engineering, what my perception of that was, and then finally, we're gonna talk about, since it's kind of in season right now, we'll talk about, is it worth it to do it during COVID? Let's just dive right in, and first, I wanna get it out of the way, let's just talk about the disadvantages, we'll put them all out there on the table, and then we can get on to the advantages. So the first disadvantage of Waterloo, the one that hit me the hardest, the fastest, it's a little more difficult to meet people, to meet friends. So all of my friends that went to different universities, Western and Toronto, uh, they were all posting stories online and posting pictures about how they were having so much fun at orientation week and they were meeting such cool people. And, and let me tell you, that is not what Waterloo is like at all. Let me just rip that bandaid off. I remember orientation week, I was really excited about events. And I started going to the events and we were playing children's games like Red Rover. I am not even kidding. And then they made us do like this weird math dance. Uh, and I hope nobody has any videos of me doing that. I used to keep my dorm room door open, but you know, people just wouldn't come say hi. They would all keep their doors closed. But over time we met people and eventually my neighbors started keeping their door open and then we would talk and we would hang out. They ended up becoming fantastic friends of mine. We still talk to this day. So although it is difficult to make friends at the beginning, although it isn't fun and it's not a party school or anything like that, uh, you're still gonna make friends and it's still gonna be a good time. So uh, it's just not gonna come in the beginning and if, you're gonna feel a little bit jealous of your friends at the beginning, but honestly, honestly, it's worth it. So let's, we're gonna get to that. Last but not least is it's just really, really difficult. I, I used to be top of my class and I went to Waterloo and I started scraping high 60s, low 70s, uh, and it was a struggle, but over time, things get easier, you get adjusted, you learn how to study, and I ended up bringing that average over an 80, but it took four or five years of studying. So uh, it is difficult. You can always take four courses at a time if it's uh, a little bit much for you. It is very difficult, but you'll get through it, of course. If you're getting value out of this video right now, please subscribe. Uh, this channel is completely dedicated to helping you get your next internship. So if you're going to Waterloo, you'll want to be subscribed. Now that we've got all the disadvantages out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. The reasons that you want to go to Waterloo, and honestly, I would just say right off the bat, these reasons eclipse all of the disadvantages. Uh, there's so many more advantages to Waterloo than disadvantages, and especially for computer science. So first things first, let's say you decided you want to go to Waterloo. Well, why do you want to go into computer science? Should I go into an engineering? So when I went to the Waterloo Open House, there was a whole talk about why you wanna pick computer science over software engineering. And essentially it boils down to, it's more flexible and honestly, just a little secret, you're gonna get the same jobs. Everybody's gonna get the same jobs. Like I work with people at Microsoft that were in engineering at Waterloo. One advantage of engineering at Waterloo, the one that I would say is the biggest, is the fact that you have the same classes uh, you have the same people in every class, so you get really close to that class. CS is a little bit different. You get to choose your own classes, which has its advantage. You get to kind of pick what you want to study, which is, was really interesting. I got to learn a lot of technologies. I don't think I would have otherwise. So it can be looked at a disadvantage or an advantage. Now at Waterloo, I, I did six internships uh, and I got to do that across three countries. I worked in Canada, I worked in America, and I worked in Ireland. I worked across a plethora of different technologies, worked on Bluetooth, front end, full stack, back end. I, I just worked across the board in everything I wanted to try because that internship, that co-op experience is just so good. So that kind of leads into the next point, Waterloo co-op versus non-co-op. And honestly, there's no competition here. If you can do the co-op option, do the co-op option. You get access to thousands of job postings. It's really gonna help nurture you. There's a whole building on campus dedicated to actually doing interviews um, and, and you just can't go wrong. Honestly, it gave me the experience to go to three countries uh, and six different internships in six different cities. It was honestly just fantastic. Now I'm gonna talk more about my journey in my channel, 
The last major advantage of Waterloo Co-op is that you can honestly pay off your degree while you're doing your degree. So it's not a four-year degree, it's a five-year degree. It's a four-year degree and two years of work experience crammed into five years. So it's practically six years and five. You're gonna be way ahead of the curve. And you're gonna make so much money during those internships that you'll start to pay for a lot, probably not all, but probably a lot of your degree as you go. I know that was a big deal for me. Maybe it's not a big deal for you, but I think it's so fantastic to have the opportunity to come out of school debt-free. And I didn't come out of school exactly debt-free, but when I started my next job, it really did not take me a long time to pay off my debt. So it's a really big deal, uh, and I know it means a lot to certain people, such as myself. You might say, can it really help me pay off my degree? Well, in the beginning, you might be making something like $18 an hour. By the end, if you're working in the States, you could be making $43 an hour in the States and not even paying for your housing. You'll get a stipend. That $43 an hour American will go straight into your pocket. Is Waterloo worth it during COVID? Well, if I had to guess, I would say uh, yes. If you have the opportunity to still go, I would take it. Um, if you can defer a year, I, I think I would probably do that, but if you just wanna go and get it over with, it's gonna be more difficult to meet people. I already told you it's hard when you're there anyway, but that additional step of having a really difficult first year and not having great access to resources and to friends to help get through it, uh, it's actually gonna make it a little bit more difficult. So I think if you can defer for a year, if you've got something else to work on, you've got something else to do, I personally would probably take that deferred year. But having said that, I think it's a fantastic option to just go ahead and do the degree online in the beginning, but make sure that you're reaching out to people, you're trying to make friends and that you're getting help on assignments. All right, so that brings us to the end. I've talked about all the advantages, all the disadvantages of Waterloo. Would, should you go to Waterloo Computer Science specifically? Yes, I think you honestly should. You should, it's a major contender, even against any engineering, including software engineering, Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. Remember, subscribe if you're going to Waterloo, especially for co-op. This whole channel is dedicated to helping you get your next tech internship. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next episode.